Hey everybody, we're back for another Witch's Rock Surf Capsule. We're down here at Tamarindo uh, on the beach here at the River Mountain Estuary and we just wanted to, uh, you know, highlight some of the hazards that we have uh, at River Mouse because they, they can be very uh, potentially dangerous spots. And so like Ryan is going to help us to uh, explain a few of those, uh, those hazards. All right, so we'll start with the um, less terrifying first. Uh, we'll start with the current. Um, basically, with, that, with the incoming tide and the high tide, this whole estuary is going to fill up. In Costa Rica, we have a very dynamic uh, tidal cycle. It, today, it went all the way up to nine feet, and it's got to drop all the way down to negative 0.1. So just a lot of water moving in between the high tide and the low tide. Right now, uh, as, you can probably, as you can probably see, the tide is dropping. You can see the current is moving kind of from inside the estuary back out to sea. Uh, so this is creating a strong current kind of in between these narrow banks of the uh, in between the narrow banks of the estuary. So if you were out there surfing, um, you know you would have to deal with a little bit of current coming at you and be aware of where you're sitting in the lineup. You might get sucked out, you might pull you out to the left or to the right. Um, but yeah that's that's something that you definitely need to be be concerned about when you're surfing with the dropping tide with uh, an estuary wave like here in Tamarindo. Can we do the experiment? Can we do the experiment now? We do the experiment. We have an experiment. Now. All right. So we're gonna do a little experiment. Uh, we've got Nikki, aka Bill Nye, the science guy, gonna throw in a big piece of driftwood, kind of by, you know, kind of deeper into the estuary, and just see how fast this current is pulling. Um, so if you were in there just floating or whatever, um, to see how fast that the current is dragging you. So let's head over to Nikki. So everybody, you just watch. This is just a piece of driftwood. I'm just going to throw it in just so we can explain the current so you can actually physically see it. We're just going to throw it in there. And as you can see, it's going pretty fast. It's moving with the outgoing tide. Obviously, you're buoyant. And if you're buoyant, you float, you're going to go with it. And that's science. Okay, so we'll explain the current. And obviously, from what you're saying is, back over behind us, we've got this full river, mat, river system that goes out, that you say fills yes. up with the high tide. And it basically, as it comes around the corner here, you can see it just literally funnels through this gap. Yeah. And that is what creates that current. Mm -hmm. So you said the less terrifying. What's the more terrifying? The more terrifying uh, that I, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you know that, you know that it exists. You can't really get too freaked out about it, uh, but this is, you know, natural habitat for caiman, for crocodiles. Um, I would say that most of them like to stay in, in their home, inside the mangrove, inside the estuary, uh, but there have been, you know... Sorry, I'm not getting wet feet. There have been sightings here in Tamarindo, uh, mostly in the estuary. If you want to see them, you can go on a boat and check them out. Um, not sure if we should be talking about this, yeah, but somebody... We, <laughs> the reason we're here is literally because of this to inform you. I know it has been. We had a, a very famous incident with John Becker, a good friend of ours. And, you know, unfortunately he did lose his leg, but, um, you know, he'll be the first one to say that he's crossed this river thousands of times with his own sons. I've, I've crossed you it. You crossed it this morning. I crossed it this morning. Not recommended. It's entirely up to you. Obviously, the main thing is if you do see any wildlife, it's best just to leave it alone. You know, don't feed the wildlife. Try to, you know, they're in their, home, their own habitat. And, uh, but again, it's entirely up to you. Um, so that's, you know, again, whenever you go surf, you've always got these um, hazards of wildlife um, from, you know, jellyfish to stingrays to um, lightning, sharks, everything. lightning. So, you know, always these natural things, but obviously if you're going somewhere where you're literally in their habitat, and I would definitely say keep an eye on when there is the mating season. So I know they can get very territorial in that sense. And also, um, when the water is a bit more murky, when you've had a heavy rainstorm, you've got a lot of water, runoff water that's coming out of the river mouth, because they can sometimes get pushed out with that heavy rain. Yeah, they get a little confused when it's all murky. It doesn't happen too much. We, no, usually, no. we have really nice clear water here in Tamarindo. So, thanks again, Ryan. I know you got to get back in the, uh, I suppose I don't want to go back in the office either. Yeah, yeah let's, just... let's drag this thing out. Yeah, no, as long as possible. <laughs> um, Thanks again, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, leave some comments. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Su subscribe to YouTube. 
Facebook, Instagram, follow us. We're going to be doing a whole bunch more series of these surfing capsules. Um, so yeah, hope you're having a great day. Enjoy yourself some Pura Vida. Pura Vida.